in war, victory, in peace, vigilance, in death, sacrifice. Welcome to the Dragon Age Wiki. So today I'm going to be talking about Darkspawn. Now Darkspawn are tainted creatures that dwell in the deep roads. Um, when they uncover one of the old gods, they expose it to um, the Darkspawn taint, changing it into an ultimate archdemon, which then leads them into an attack against the surface of the world, which we all know as the Blight. So the Darkspawn horde is connected through the taint, functioning as a hive mind similar to ants, while high ranking Darkspawn like emissaries or alphas have limited influence upon small groups, only an archdemon can in command the entire horde. So um, territory occupied by Darkspawn becomes diseased, a rotting place of twisted creatures infected by the blight. Creatures that come close or in frequent contact with the Darkspawn often become diseased themselves. Examples include the blight wolves and ghouls. While the blighted creatures often work alongside the Darkspawn, most often because of force, their lifespan is such that their use is severely limited. Even a ghoul's lifespan can usually be measured in months. So according to the Chantry, it is the her hubris of men that brought the Darkspawn upon the world. They teach that when magisters of the Ultra Winter Imperium encountered the Golden City, they offended the Maker and brought corruption to it. They were cast out, transforming them into the hideous monsters known as Darkspawn, and forced to flee the light of the sun, retreating into the deep roads of Orzammar. So the dwarves give little credit to the Chantry beliefs, but they themselves have no known origin story for the Darkspawn. As far as the dwarves are concerned, the Darkspawn simply appeared. Um, the Darkspawn hordes that invaded the deep roads ended up crippling the Dwarven Empire, leaving only Orzammar and Kalsharok, the latter of which was completely isolated from the outside world until recently. Whether the Chantry's information on the origin of Darkspawn is correct or not is uncertain, but no opposing story of their origin has been put forward so far. So the Darkspawn take many prisoners. While many prisoners eventually die, female face a fate far worse. They undergo a horrible transformation and become bread mothers. Each of these creatures is capable of producing thousands of Darkspawn during their lives and each different race produces a different type of darkspawn. Humans produce herlocks, dwarves produce genlocks, and elves produce sheiks, and the kunari produce orgers. So yeah, that's all I have to say about darkspawn. So until next time, goodbye.